Fabian Gonzalez is charged with child abuse resulting in death, evidence tampering, and conspiracy charges in the August 2016 death of Victoria Martins. Now, new filings show the DA is asking the court to allow aggravating circumstances. KOT legal expert John Day says those are circumstances that make a crime more heinous and, if granted, would mean tougher penalties for Gonzalez if convicted. With this new filing, the DA is saying we've got new witnesses, new evidence, um, and also we have evidence that shows that Fabian Gonzalez directly participated in the, in the mutilation and the dismemberment and the concealment of Victoria's body. Day says Gonzalez faces life in prison with no chance for parole for the first 40 years. The state announced it intends to call two expert witnesses to testify about gang activity, one from the Metropolitan Detention Center and one from the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office. But these filings don't detail how these gang experts' testimony relates to Gonzalez. The documents do go into some detail about two other witnesses. One who, according to the list, is going to testify about uh, drug use by Fabian Gonzalez and Jessica Kelly, um, and also another witness, it says the witness witness is going to testify about the events at a barbecue and then the circumstances surrounding Victoria's homicide. Jessica Kelly faces the same charges as Gonzalez and a number of others, including murder, aggravated battery and aggravated criminal sexual penetration of a child. Day says Gonzalez has a new defense attorney and Monday the judge is expected to decide if he'll allow the attorney change, which could delay things. I think there'll be a lot of things uh, on the table, a lot of things that this judge is going to look at. Of course, he could set it down the road because there's a new attorney. We don't know whether the new attorney is going to say, I need more time, judge. Right now, Gonzalez's trial is scheduled to start October 15th. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News.